Alright, hi guys. Okay, so I just posted a video called Everything You Need to Know Before You Bleach Your Hair. Um, and so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today, except I'm not going to be using um, traditional bleach. Hopefully. Um, I'm going to start by using this right here. It's Color Fix by One and Only. Um, it's got really great reviews. I heard that it doesn't um, fry your hair off too bad. So, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. As you can see, I've got uh, a little bit of blonde under here. And this be, this is the target color for the rest of my hair um, eventually. I know that that's probably going to take some time. But yeah. So, we're just going to dive right in. And if this doesn't lighten my hair up enough, I'm going to have to bleach it. Let's hope I don't fry it completely off. Alright, so it just says to mix these two little dinka dinks evenly and I gotta say they smell like a porta potty. Like literally like the inside of a porta potty. So haha <laughs> my head's gonna smell like a porta potty. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that smells so bad. Oh my god. This reeks so bad. Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep. Dreaming about the things that we could be. But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Yeah, we'll be counting stars on your head. Um, most people would use a um, little cap, but I don't have one. So I made a little one out of foil. And now you're going to blow dry the foil, but my blow dryer doesn't come over here. So I'm going to go blow dry it. So this is after washing it out and uh, just I just towel dried it so it's still pretty wet. Um, as predicted, it has turned a dark orangey red copper color. So um, on the box that the color fix came in, it says that if you need to do a second application, that you can do it on damp towel dried hair. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully it will lighten up another level or two. And I wanted to go ahead and let you know that the color fix comes with this third bottle called processing lotion. And I wanted to tell you that if you plan on using color fix, don't use this stuff. <laughs> uh, the color fix works really well aside from this. Um, it even says on the box that it may make your hair dark again. I don't know why it's included. Um, I think it's supposed to repair your hair, but just use a deep conditioner. Keep it up. 
from the hood. Okay, so this is, it's not completely dry, but uh, this is after the second uh, color fix, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it is significantly lighter, and just for comparison, I have one of my extensions here, just and that is without bleaching it, ever. And I know you obviously can't tell, but it is so soft. Like, I mean, the ends are maybe kind of dry, but with if you had bleached, if I had bleached my hair this color, my hair would be so dry and so brittle. But it is so, so soft. So I am absolutely in love with this stuff. Um, it's really great. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to, this obviously is not the color that I want to keep, uh, so I, I am going to uh, actually bleach it now, and so once I get all that ready, I'll show you what I'm using. So this is how it turned out after I bleached it, and so I'm sorry that I didn't show you um, the video of me actually putting this pink color on my hair, but it's pretty self-explanatory and there's like a thousand videos on YouTube of people dyeing their hair pink um but literally all I did was just put the pink color on my hair and then on my extensions and I mean that's pretty much it uh so this is the finished color and that's about it uh yeah I also um I cut my extensions, I bought them, and then I, uh, I colored them, and I also, I cut them. You have to cut your extensions to get them to match. Um, so, yeah. Alright, thanks guys for watching, bye.